One day she found little drops of water dripping from the tip of the oval. The woman didn't take it seriously. She wiped the drops and ignited the oven. The next day she found the whole of oven wet. Water was oozing out of the walls slowly. She looked around but couldn't find out where the water was coming from. Did it rain again last night? She asked people around her. No, it has not rained for days, they replied. Then where all this water has come from in my oven? She asked everyone around her. No one had the answer. The next morning, the woman opened the lid of the oven. She was glad to see it all dry. She was about to bake her breads when suddenly the oven started to rumble. The bricks from the base of the oven started to come off. What's going on? Why the earth is shaking? The woman looked around and said, That's when the walls of the oven ripped out and water began to flow out. In no time the bakery was full of water and the water started to flow out of the shop. The news of water coming out of an oven reached No. He called the Muslims and said, The water coming out of the oven is a sign of Allah. I'm sure the great flood is not too far behind. Allah said to know, Very soon the flood will reach the highest mountain. Every tree and house and hill will be under water. This flood will kill all the bad people except the few. That will be for those who will be on that ship. No, listen to Allah attentively. Allah said to No, gather a pair of the animals and bring them on board the ship. No went around with the Muslims calling animals. All the animals were already told by Allah to follow Nu's orders. The animals followed Nu to the ship. Nu boarded all of them. He then boarded all the Muslims. Before locking the doors, Nu looked around to make sure that there is no one left behind. People found it very funny. Many had gathered around the ship to see what No was doing. Suddenly, dark clouds appeared on the sky. It started to rain. The crowd didn't take the rain seriously. Among the crowd, No saw his son. He was also laughing and making fun. Of his father. No went to him, held him from his arm, and said, I want to save you, so please come on board with me. His son pushed him away and said, Oh, you don't worry about me, father. It's just a rain, and if the water rises, I can climb on a mountain. No held him by the shoulders and said, Son, listen to me carefully. This is no ordinary flood. It is a punishment from Allah. Soon everyone and everything will be drowned. But his son didn't listen. He took a step backwards, jerked his head and said, hm, Would you please leave me alone? I can't be part of a silly plan. 
No was very sad to hear that. He just wished the boy listened to his father. Sadly, he turned back, went inside the boat and locked his gate from inside. He went up and looked at all the people on the ground. There were few people left as many had gone away to find a shelter. One onlooker said, Well, this is this rain is usually uh, hard. His friend replied, You are right. I have never seen such a rain in my life. I think uh, we should find a shelter. So the two of them turned and walked hurriedly towards their houses. Right then, earth started to torn from places. Water started to gush up from these holes. Soon the water was knee deep. The rain got even harder. The water from the earth came out with full force as well. From the boat, the Muslims could see people up to their necks in water. Soon, including no sun, ran for the mountain. No looked at his son, knowing that he will be drowned very soon. But there was nothing he could do. His son was climbing the mountain as fast as he could. But the water level was rising even faster. Suddenly a wave of water came between the father and the son. Lu looked at the mountain once the wave disappeared. But there was no sign of his son. In few hours, the only thing the Muslims could see was water. The dead bodies of bad people could be seen floating on the water. Nu came inside the main cabin of the boat. The rest of the Muslims were already there. They all were happy to be saved. But they were also sad for their families and friends who didn't listen and died. Nu said to them, We should thank Allah for saving us. He then looked up and said, With your help, we travel in this boat. You are our supporter. You are our helper. For many days, the boat went on sailing in high waters. By now, the only animals and humans living were on the boat. During all these days, the rain didn't stop. Every day, No went out and looked at the sky. There was no sign of sun. He then went to look after the animals. He found them sitting silently, as if they were thinking, When the rain will end? When will we be able to leave the boat? and go out in the open. One early morning, No came on board and found a break in clouds. A streak of sunlight was able to find its way through. Then the rain stopped and clouds started to vanish. All the people came on the deck. A rainbow appeared in the distance. Allah told the water to dry up. Very soon the earth appeared. That's when Noah realized that they are on the top of a mountain. People were anxious to leave the boat. Noah said, Wait, uh, let's take all the animals out first. They opened the animal cages. The birds came out and flew away happily. 
the land animals went out running and galloping. From the ship, the Muslims could see animals going down the mountains in every direction. No came out of the ship with the rest of the Muslims. Where are we? How do we get home from here? They asked. Allah guided No and He brought everyone back to where they used to live. But it was hard to recognize the place. The town was now buried under tons of mud. Not a sign was left of any homes or shops. Muslims knew they will have to start all over again. No said to them, Before you go on with building your houses and neighborhoods, I tell you to keep in mind that you will only pray to Allah and you will not cheat or hurt anyone. The people agreed and got busy with their lives. Now to read this story yourself, go to chapter 71 of Holy Quran and remember only Allah is your helper. So ask him for help and enjoy reading Quran every day till the next session of great stories. Assalamu alaikum.